What's going on gents? In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you 11 ways to instantly look better in a suit. Let's go. God, low on the track. Tip number one, fit is king. I can't emphasize this enough. A well-fitted suit is going to be more comfortable, it's going to make you stand out from the rest, and it also improves your posture, so nail the fit. If you want to know how a suit should fit, click on this video here. The second way to instantly look better in a suit, a clean and quality dress shirt. Remember guys, the chain is only as strong as its weakest link. Wearing your stained and overworn dress shirt is only going to instantly make you look second class. So don't cut corners with your dress shirts. Number three, don't skimp on leather shoes. This speaks for itself. Please don't wear leather shoes looking like this with your expensive suit. Don't skimp on leather shoes, gents. I know leather shoes aren't cheap, but if you go for quality, it's probably going to last you for decades and the leather is only going to patina over time, making it look better when you first purchase it. Number four, be sure your suits are pressed, your shirts ironed, and your shoes clean and polished. This might not be a big deal to some of you, but people are going to notice and they will judge. Might as well look dapper all the time. Look good, feel good. If you want to know how to clean and polish your leather dress shoes, click on this video here. Number five, lose the belt. Wearing a belt is going to cut you in half. For me, I'm not the tallest guy in the world and wearing a belt with my suits is going to make me look shorter than I already am. So I'm always opt for the beltless look. Personally, I prefer wearing suspenders because of its vintage look and functionally, it keeps my pants up better than the belt. And when you take off your suit, you're gonna look dapper as hell, in my opinion. But please, don't wear those cheap-ass clip-ons. Number six, accessorize in moderation. Certain accessories such as the pocket square should be worn every time you wear a suit, in my opinion. But that shouldn't stop you there. Take this opportunity to truly express yourselves with accessories. There are so many accessories that complement the suit. There's the wristwatch, the pocket square, cufflinks, a boutonniere, a tie bar, rings, a collar bar, and if you really want to get fancy, you can try wearing the pocket watch. Adding a couple of accessories are a subtle but fancy way to instantly up your suit game. But remember gents, don't overdo it or suffer looking like an ostentatious guy who has no idea what he's doing. Number 7, know which tie knot to tie depending on your shirt collar. What? What does tie knots even matter? Yeah, same question I asked myself, but gents, with suits, it's all about proportions. If your collar is a spread collar, it's visually going to look better with a thicker knot to fill in the space, and vice versa. Tip number 8 that's going to instantly make you look better in a suit, the length of your tie. Be sure the tip of your tie is right above the waistband of your pant. Like I said, it's all about proportions. Tip number 9, match the width of your tie with the width of your lapel. Same story, try matching the width of your tie to the width of your lapel. Visually, it's going to look better, it's going to make you look more proportionate, and it's going to make your whole outfit look more put together. Be sure to keep this in mind because suits nowadays that are off the rack offers skinniest lapels that are very difficult for you to wear mid-sized ties. Number 10, know when to button or unbutton your suit. Suit etiquette 101 gents, it's always better to keep your top button fastened if you're standing up, especially if you're wearing a double-breasted suit. Unbutton when you're sitting down. However, with a three-piece suit, I would personally prefer exposing the vest leaving the buttons unfastened. The last tip, be sure to wear appropriate socks. In this modern era, we're definitely seeing more guys going sockless. Nothing wrong with it, but in my opinion, it really depends on the dress code, the setting, and the shoes you're wearing. Loafers or double monks only gents if you're deciding to go with the sockless look. If you're wearing socks, avoid those low cut socks that exposes a little bit of your skin. I would 100% recommend over the calf socks so your socks stay in place throughout the day or night. The color of your socks are important as well. Avoid whites because it's too harsh of a contrast and avoid bright novelty patterns because that's gonna make you look like a clown. If you're unsure, match the color of your socks to as close to your suit as possible. So that's it for today's video gents. Hope you guys learned something new today and if you did, be sure to smash that like button. And let me know down in the comments if there's any other way to look better in a suit. For more content like this, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, stay dapper.